couple of things I have going on today. I am washing the slip cover on my loveseat couch thing here. I absolutely love the way this couch looks. And I don't know, let me get in a little closer so you can see why it needs a slip cover. You can see it was destroyed by cats. Many of you love that I lived with so many cats. You should know that was my ex-husband's obsession. He was the foster. Uh, so here in my apartment, I only have one old man, former feral, who basically spends all the time under my bed except in the dark. So these came with a slip cover. It was a cheap one from Amazon. I'm still deciding if I like it and want to invest in a better one, but this is the first time I have pulled it off the couch. So I am currently washing it. You might be able to hear that. At 8 a.m. every morning, the garden lights turn on. It, it wants to be lit during the night. Uh, that's the default setting, but it is so bright, you guys, that it will wake me up. That's my, well, that went dark. Never. Oh, there we go. That's my bedroom right there. It's not a very big apartment. So I had to change the default setting. So it runs from 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. all day long so that uh, I can sleep at night. And then I, since yesterday, have been cleaning my little oven. I tried a baking soda water paste thing. It, um, let's see, that certainly looks better. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for now. And I'm watching a little YouTube and I'm going to make my oatmeal breakfast. So vlogging, I guess you just watch me do things, eh? I don't really know how to do this, so uh, <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together. I just realized it's raining, like this really nice summer rain. So I'm gonna eat my oatmeal and drink my coffee out on my patio. So come along with me. Okay, here is my list for Target. I need some new of those little makeup cloths, you know, like the makeup eraser. I have a bunch that I love and they've recently stopped absorbing. So I know they have a limited lifespan. So I'm thinking I need new ones. I'd like to try and get some gel eye patches, maybe conquer some of this puffiness I'm dealing with. A GoPro, I'm just gonna look, see if they have an off-brand one. I'd like to take you guys running with me. I can't do that with a camera. What else? Oh, I'd like a white trash can. I have these stainless steel ones. They're just starting to look a little worn out. A recycle bin. Potentially hooks for some lights I got for my patio. I need outdoor ones. I'd like a new bedside lamp. Uh, it's not a necessity. I'm just going to see what they have. A bottle for hand wash soap. Uh, I, the one I have is broken. Believe it or not, in this little apartment, I have to have three bottles, two bathrooms, and a kitchen sink. So maybe look at some hair stuff that they have. And then not a you know, this is not an exhaustive list of all the fruits and vegetables I will buy. They're just the ones to keep me on track. This one, I got a sushi mat. So I'm gonna try and make some sushi. So I need some rice wine vinegar. And then these are for my class. That Forks Over Knives cooking course that I'm taking. We're doing knife skills right now. So I need to small dice a zucchini, a tomato, and a cucumber. So I need to get those so I can chop them. Okay, let's go to Target.
back from Target. I will show you what I bought in just a second. First, I need to put the couch slip cover in the dryer and no. Anyway, there's a ruggable and a thing in there. So let me go and switch those out and then I will show you everything that I got at Target. I spent a little bit more at Target than I had anticipated, but that is because right out of the gate, I found a lamp that I liked. I am um, pretty surprised. I thought I was gonna spend the next couple of months searching for a lamp, but this one sort of ticks all my buttons which is a dark wood, sort of that rustic look. I gotta say, I know it's cliche, but the Magnolia collection from Chip and Joanna Gaines at Target, I feel like they know me or they've changed me into liking their style, who knows? So um, yeah, I spent a little bit more, but we'll see if this lamp works on that bedside table that I put together the other night. Okay, I did not get very much besides that. Hopefully the footage was usable. It was very interesting to film in there because they, um, all the employees were super aware that I was filming them. I could see them look at me, look at the camera, look back at me and be like, can I help? Like I've never been asked so many times if I needed help as today. So that made me feel a little bit weird, but. Okay, before it all melts, I did get a big bag of wild blueberries, frozen wild blueberries. I eat these. Um, Definitely in my morning oatmeal, sometimes in my evening, depending on whether I have fresh or not. I was not that thrilled with the frozen fruit options at Target. So that's the only one that I got. I do need mangoes and some dark cherries, but I think I've mentioned this before. I'm, I'm steps away from a Whole Foods. The reason I went to Target today is because I wanted to look for a lamp and some other things. Uh, and sometimes if I'm doing a bigger grocery haul, I, I drive because it's just easier. I got these produce bags on Amazon. They came uh, last night, so I, this is my debut use of them. I am trying to cut back on the amount of plastic that I use, so this is kale. Uh, I have my garden system over here where I can snip greens, but I find that those are, they're kind of like baby greens, right? So uh, when I want to cook kale, I like to buy the more mature greens because they just hold up better and they don't sort of get that hot, wet lettuce uh, feeling. Okay, and here are sweet potatoes, four, four sweet potatoes. I'll transfer these to my potato bin. And then also, ugh, I got some russets. Let's see, I got also four russets. Sometimes I buy the, uh, like the five pound bag, but I often like to get them loose because I notice the loose ones are bigger and I like the bigger russets. The five pound bags, if you notice, they can be like this big. They're teeny, teeny, tiny, and they're irregular sizes, so sometimes it's harder to cook them. Four russets. And then I think I mentioned for my forks over knives cooking course, I have to do some knife skill. I have to cut and uh, submit photos of my chopping skills. The only I have to do is a zucchini, a cucumber, a tomato, and green onion. And the only uh, of that I had on hand last night were some green onions. So I chopped these last night and took a picture of them. So that smells good. And then at Target today, I needed to buy the rest. So I am not a fan of raw tomatoes. Uh, they gross me out. It's not the taste, it's just the seeds. It sort of grosses me out. So I really, I don't know that I've ever chopped a tomato <laughs> in my adult life. I know that's kind of sad. So here's my tomato to chop. I didn't even know how to pick one out. <laughs> how do you tell when a tomato is right? Let me know in the comments below. I picked a hard one because I thought, like hard, because I thought that would actually be easier to chop. Here's my zucchini, another thing I do not have a lot of experience with. I find zucchini and squash to be kind of mushy when you cook them, so I don't usually eat them, but this is why I'm taking this course, to embrace eating some new things. Two cucumbers, I only need to chop one. I don't know why I got two. Uh, cucumbers I have more experience with. 
and we'll put the green onions over there, produce bags, what else, what else? Oh, and then um, two Honeycrisp apples. Honeycrisp are the best apples. If you don't agree, um, you should find another YouTuber. Just kidding. It's okay if we disagree, but truly, Honeycrisp are the best. Let me know if you agree. And then um, I got some rice wine vinegar. This is just called rice vinegar and as opposed to rice wine, so I'm hoping I didn't screw up. This was the cheapest, the Target brand, Good & Gather. I am going to try making sushi. I got myself, oh, let me show you. I haven't even opened it. This is from Amazon. It is a sushi making kit. I have been wanting to make sushi for a really long time. I need to return something at REI and maybe pop over to Whole Foods. So maybe I'll get an avocado. I haven't been having avocado in the house because I like it a little too much. And remember, yes, there are good fats. Of course there are. But fat is extremely high in calorie density. Extremely high. It's basically total fat. Uh, avocados, olive oils, any kind of oils, nuts, very, very high in fat. And fat and weight loss don't always go together. People get upset about this on WW. Well, avocados are good for me, so why are they so high in points? Well, you're trying to lose weight. So that's why they're high in points. So I don't really have avocados in my house. Sometimes I'll get them when I go out, but, um, but for sushi, man, it's hard to have sushi for me to have sushi without avocados since I don't have fish. Okay, light bulbs for this lamp. Asked for 100 watt, which is kind of bright, but three way. So I hope I got the right kind. We shall see. And, oh, I got a dress, which I did not try on. But I uh, tend to wear mediums these days, so hopefully um, this will fit. I will try it on a little later. It has a plunging, hard for you to see, plunging neckline. Um, I have traditionally had a very large chest, like triple D and that has made it hard to wear things that plunge at all without looking like I'm in a porn. Um, so I have lost a lot of weight in my chest. I, 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 I'm, I'm wearing anywhere between a C and a D, and I've lost a lot in band. So it's very, very exciting to me to be able to wear plunging necklines. So that's, that's what attracted me to this dress. So I will try it on and see if it fits. If not, Easy enough to take it back. And what else? Oh, I did get some eye patches. I'm realistic. These aren't really gonna do anything, but I thought it might be kind of fun. I might take a bath and give those a whirl. I got some silver hoop earrings. I have been embracing wearing earrings. I just got my ears pierced maybe eight months ago, six months ago. I had them pierced as a kid and then I let them uh, fill in and then as an adult, I've been wanting to try earrings. But around the house and on the weekends, I just want some simple uh, hoops that I can sleep in. And I needed some silver, so got these. And then lastly, I got a couple of headbands. Now, here's what I'll say. <laughs> For those of you who have been in long, long-term relationships, at least this happened to me, I sort of absorbed what he liked or didn't like on me. And so there's a lot of things that I thought looked good on me that I just didn't wear because I knew he wouldn't like them. Not, it's not a negative thing. There was no, <laughs> it's not like he forbid me or uh, anything like that. I just, I wanted him to like how I looked. And so, <laughs> I'm so sorry you guys that I got caught up uh, mid sentence. I don't even know where to go. I'm on my phone now because I just spent the last, well, it felt like an hour trying to correct a problem with my memory card on my phone. I filled it up which I've never done before because I've never done a vlog apparently. And then I was deleting stuff and I don't, I unformatted it and now I can't figure out how to reformat it. And I started to get really hangry while that was happening. So I ate an apple and y'all, if you don't have one of these, they're amazing. You should have one. And then I also ate, 
I had some cooked uh, potatoes, mini potatoes, in my fridge, and so I air fried those, dumped a bunch of nutritional yeast, and left one in the bowl just to show you. And I made some green tea because I realized I was getting really, really, really frustrated at the technology. So all I was saying before I got cut off, where is the, hold on, I'm gonna try, uh, where are you? There you are. Does that look like I'm looking at you now? <laughs> try not to stare at myself, I'll look at you. Um, all I was trying to say is that in long-term relationships, you sort of um, accommodate the person you love and their preferences. And so there were things that he liked about uh, my clothing and my everything and things he didn't. And I'm trying some of the things that he didn't like. So the other thing I did while I was trying to clear stuff off of the camera and waiting was I tried on the dress from Target, which is not gonna work. And then the headband, I liked it. It was like a gold headband, which is something I do not think he would have liked and I never would have considered before. But it was poorly constructed and it pulled my hair out. So the two headbands and the dress will go back to Target. And now I've had a snack. What else? Well, I need to put the slip cover on the couch. I don't know what happened. I'm not feeling so great. I feel a little sick to my stomach. I think maybe it is the weather. It's very overcast and the pressure is pretty high and that always, and it's, I find it to be very glary out there and um, that has always made me a little not feel so great, which is why 15 years of living in the Pacific Northwest was actually pretty hard for me because the weather's like that a lot and I don't, I don't like it. I like bright, bright, bright sunshine. <laughs> so I'm gonna drink a Topo Chico and uh, see if that helps. And I'm gonna make some lunch because maybe I'm just hungry. I just had that snack, but I don't know. I also got kind of agitated about that whole camera thing. so. Maybe I just overdid it. So what I think I'm going to eat today is, I need to finish off, I, once a week I usually make a big vat of grains. A different, I try to make a different kind of grain every week. This is pearl barley. It's the last of it. Still good. And then I have my zero point refried beans. And I have some broccoli that I overcooked in the Instant Pot. I'm having a hard time with broccoli and uh, sweet potatoes. Like I just can't get them right in the Instant Pot. I think I'm better off on the, on the stove top. So I might eat some of those and uh, put all this together. Little nutritional yeast, little salt. And then I, I think I'm gonna get to chopping my vegetables for my, for my test, so. I'll bring you along for that. Oscar. Do you want some cookies? That's the thing about a feral. 
he trusts me more than he trusts any human in the world. And he'll, he still runs away from me. You can see him fighting his instincts all the time, which is to run away. But he's chosen family life. He chose to come inside. But I can almost guarantee after this he'll go back under the bed. Oscar, what's you doing, buddy? You gonna talk to us? You gonna talk to us? I have to take him to the vet on Tuesday, so that's gonna be fun to get him. Okay, I have now uh, diced everything for my class. I have zucchini, I have cucumber, that's what this is called. I have the nasty, nasty tomato. I can't be the only one who thinks tomatoes are nasty. And then I have the green onion from last night in the fridge. And the cool thing about this course is that uh, they're just not making me dice these and then leaving me to figure out what's what, I have a recipe. Let's see if I can find the recipe to show y'all. Yes, it's called the Hollywood Bowl Brown Rice Salad. So it calls for brown rice, zucchini, cucumber, tomatoes, green onions, one cup of cilantro, which I don't have, but that's okay. Lemon juice, ground black pepper, and sea salt. Very, very simple. So what I'm gonna do is get some brown rice going. And I think I will do a double batch of brown rice in my rice cooker. So I'll probably do two cups of brown rice. They call for one cup. I'm assuming they're talking one cup cooked. I will, uh, maybe I'll have this for lunch tomorrow. I think that would be really good because I really want to make some sushi tonight. So I think I'm going to get this started and that'll take a while. Two cups of brown rice takes a while, quite a while, like over an hour. So I'll put all this stuff in the fridge and then, what time is it? It's 12.30. I think I'm going to go return this bra, I brought it REI, let me show you. I don't know what I don't know what I was thinking. You know, I'm a, I'm now a medium at places like Target, but um, about this tiny thing off of REI. There's no way this fits. I couldn't even get it over my head. So I live, uh, like I said, I'm steps from a Whole Foods, and I'm also steps from an REI. I ordered this online so I can take it back and return it, and then I might head over to Whole Foods get avocado. I need nori for the sushi, some Topo Chico, because I was not able to get that at Target. Can you believe it? They didn't have Topo Chico. And, oh, they have my favorite Dave's Killer Bread hamburger buns on sale at Whole Foods. So I think I'd be a fool not to buy some of those. 
and then it'll probably be time to exercise. I'm feeling better after I ate and drank some sparkling water. So this really does happen to me when the weather's like this and the pressure in the air is so intense. Um, I'm pretty sensitive to that kind of thing. I can't be the only one, right? Okay, I will see you in a bit. So excuse the air conditioner. It's very loud in this apartment. I guess we shall see if it's the heaters this loud. I suspect it is. Uh, but I came back and my whole apartment smelled like broccoli. So I needed to air it out a little bit. Ah, there we go. Okay, at Whole Foods, I got my favorite hamburger buns, Dave's Killer Bread. These are four points. I believe I think that I could do better whole food plant-based wise. They do have some, they have sugar listed in the ingredients. Let's see if I can figure out where it is. There it is, organic cane sugar. And it's six grams of added sugar for one bun. So probably not the best, but I'm gonna tell you guys with my homemade black bean burgers, I just, I love these. So this is one of those little sacrifices I make. I do believe that they are vegan. I hope so, otherwise I'll probably have to move away from using it. Yes, vegan, good, excellent. Okay, I also got some nori sheets for uh, sushi tonight. I remembered I have some tofu in the fridge, so I should probably use that. I got a lime for that recipe with my forks over knives ingredients that I chopped. And then um, I'm a sucker. This was on big sale. I got this. I adore <laughs> vessels that hold water because I, all I do really is drink water all day. So it's not unusual for me to cave and buy a new water bottle. I did get a ripe avocado for sushi and oh at REI I returned that teeny tiny bra and I in theory have one of these coming my way from REI but it's this whole mess where I don't know when I'm going to get it and I really need some kind of hydration to carry with me when I run outside. Right now what I'm doing is just holding a water bottle and it's it's annoying honestly. So this one I can put around my hand, it'll be the other hand, but put it around my hand and then I don't have to physically remember to hold on to something the whole time I'm running. So I think I'm gonna clean this out, put an electrolyte tab in it and uh, go for a run because the sun is finally out and it's nice and hot and I'm gonna get my sweat on. So I will see you later. Okay, so I went for a 10 minute warm-up run, then the 20 minute series run for the Peloton thing. Then I did a 10 minute cool down run and then I was still kind of far away from my house. I'm still learning how to judge distance, especially with a river because if I cross over it, then there's only two spots I can cross back. One is like a quarter mile away and the next one puts me at a four mile loop. So I took the four mile loop ended up a little bit farther away when I was done with the, uh, my cool down run. So I just did another cool down with Peloton. And then I was gonna do a 10 minute core workout and a stretch outside, but I don't know, the grass looks really nice, but all these people with dogs, like I, <laughs> I don't know what those dogs are peeing and pooping in the grass and I don't really wanna lay in it. So I just came back here and did a core workout and um, a stretch and now I think I'm gonna to go to the pool for a few minutes before, since I have to shower anyway, I might as well go get in the pool, right? I'm back from the pool, I'm about to hop in the shower, but in the spirit of always have something going when you're doing something else, right? I have my rice cooker with the brown rice that's being kept warm for my dinner, which I will make as soon as I get out of the shower. I also thought I would start a batch of Scottish oatmeal in my little uh, slow cooker. This is a slow cooker a friend gave me. It's an old 70s one. It doesn't have an on off or anything. You just plug it in and it's on. Uh, but I've gotten a lot of people asking me what Scottish oatmeal is. If you've been here for a while, you know that I eat it pretty much every night for dessert. And it is different than old-fashioned rolled oats. And I am here to tell you I don't really understand why. 
and I can't find it anywhere. I've looked in bulk bins, at Whole Foods, at Sprouts. Um, it is, I cannot find it in my town, <laughs> in person. So I order it off of Amazon. This is what it looks like. To me, it looks a lot like steel cut oats. I can't find a recipe for it for the Instant Pot. So I one time tried cooking it on the steel cut oat setting and I got the burn warning. <laughs> so I don't really know. The, um, this is what, this is the packaging. I get Bob's Red Mill Scottish Oatmeal on Amazon. I was at the Bob's Red Mill store with my mom about a month ago and they did have it there, but that's the only time I've ever seen it on the shelf. It says, the ingredient is whole grain oats. And what does it say on the front? A coarse meal was produced by slowly grinding the oat kernels between two large millstones. Many years ago, Bob visited Scotland and learned the art of stone milling at the historic blah, blah, blah. Today it is stone ground in the same old fashioned way. I don't know, here's what I know. I think it makes a delicious, creamy dessert oatmeal. Very different than the old fashioned oats I have for breakfast. So. What I do is one cup of Scottish oatmeal to three cups of water, and I set the timer for two hours. Again, I don't know if it's low or high. There's no setting on this thing. So it's the only thing I make in this slow cooker is this Scottish oatmeal a couple of times a week. So, okay, uh, shower. I'm not gonna bring you in with me for that. And then I'll start dinner. fell apart so if anyone has any advice let me know I'm just gonna eat them like they're a sushi burrito uh, I think it's gonna be delicious I want to master this because I could eat this all the time I think this is amazing so okay I'm gonna go eat and I'll see y'all later okay this is the last food prep thing I will do for the week today was a little weird because you know I usually prep ingredients I don't prep recipes but I totally prepped a recipe today so but I thought some of you might like to see what the Scottish oatmeal looks like coming out of the slow cooker you can see it's um, I'm gonna try not to use that word everyone hates it's totally not moist I would never say that 
but it is quite creamy. Oh, you got it. I'm sorry. You guys can't see that. It is really creamy compared to sort of old fashioned oats. I think it's delicious. So I'm going to transfer it out of the slow cooker and into a glass dish to sort of sit and solidify. I don't know if I'm going to eat any of this tonight, but it is just you know, it takes almost three hours, and I love this little baby slow cooker, but I don't trust it. It being from the 70s, and <laughs> there's like no way to set a time. I, I worry a little bit that it's a fire hazard. So my friend who gave it to me thinks I'm ridiculous, but I do not leave this thing going when I am not at home. So finding three hours uh, to let that run sometimes can be a challenge during the week. So, there's that. And now, I have to, have to, have to edit my What I Eat in a Day video. I am usually done with it by now. I can't believe it's 7 p.m. on Sunday and I haven't even started editing that. You guys will hate me. I've gotta get that um, ready to go because it comes out on Wednesday. So it has to get done. So I'm gonna go sit on my patio I think, or maybe I'll sit inside and edit. And um, you can watch me do that, I guess. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's a lot vlogging. <laughs> I have admiration for these vloggers now that I see how much work goes into it. And I haven't even started editing. We'll see how it goes. Uh, luckily, I got my memory card fixed, so I'm back on my laptop. I am currently getting my What I Eat In A Day video out of Final Cut Pro so I can upload it to YouTube so you can watch it on Wednesday. And I have a sweet little cat here who just needs my attention. So, uh... You wanna come say hi to everyone? He does not wanna come say hi to everyone. All right, thank you all for being here. I will see you in the next video. Bye.